It's a lot that come out VA. Mm-hmm. You still sleep? You think so or no? Nah, the, no. I way. think the industry know what's going on. Okay, that but makes I sense. think the world still sleep. You know what I mean? Like they still got to kind of catch up to what we really got going on. That makes sense. I kind. I don't know. I don't know. I how you just, how you feel? Because I'm looking from the inside, looking out. You know what I mean? Like I'm I'm in Virginia, and I know what my homies is telling me when I'm at I, the crib, and they like, bro, they ain't really f- with us like they supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I get in the rooms, and I'm like, yeah, now nah, I'm from Virginia. They like, oh, sh-. nah, everybody come out of Virginia hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? So nah, they, what they know what's going on, but uh, no, it's kind of like, am, am I an industry now? <laughs> it might be an industry because damn, like, because now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, bro. Like I was, I was talking to my friends, and I was like, "Okay, you know, we always talk about Atlanta and New York, mm-hmm. and if we talking the verses, mm. I will put Virginia in there against either one. Against either one, I, I, if we doing the verses, I think Virginia can. All right, so this this where it get tricky at now. So what are we talking about? Are we talking about artists, or are we talking about producers? Not, that don't matter when we doing verses. It you can do. go either way. It do because when you we seen producer verses and they still play the artist that's on that song. You know what right. I'm saying like you just showed me a single. Yeah, facts. Uh, somebody could be like Pee Wee Long. you know what I'm saying like, but facts. it's still Kino piece. Yeah, facts. So it's like facts. we doing a verses. Period. I'm talking about just the music. The coming music. Out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, facts. And you, you, I mean, Pharrell got his fingerprint all on Jay Z. Pause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand. That was crazy, but yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> that was wild. But yeah, uh, for, I gotta reset. Pharrell got his, his 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 fingerprint all over that, right? Now look. So on the real, how I look at it, bro, is like as a producer, it don't matter where you come from. Like you producing the music, but a lot of the main folks that just like tap in the music, they're not gonna just look and see like, oh, I love this song. Who made the beat? Nah, they just gonna say who loved it. I love this song. Who's this song for? You know what I'm saying? Who this for? So they gonna listen to the song and they gonna peep that. So that's why it's kind of lopsided. That's the only thing. Like I feel like Virginia really run the whole world with this shit, with the music shit, because we bring the producers from that did everything for everybody, mm-hmm. but we just lack in bringing the artists to the for the, uh, the forefront. Not to say that the artists ain't there because the talent is definitely in Virginia, but until they see more artists, they're not going to know. Because I ask people a real question. I'm like, yeah, so what artists you fuck with from Virginia? They're like, oh, yeah, y'all got Pusha T. Y'all got the clips. And then I'm like, all right, who else? I I like... I so mean, but maybe you got, I don't you, feel... No, no, no. You got young, you got, you got young, young Chris. You got young, young Chris. You got young Crazy, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? But we need, we need that. For example, look at Memphis scene. If I ask you, like, who you fuck with from Memphis... You gonna tell me black youngster, money bag, yo, Glorilla, yo, guy. You gonna you get you know what I mean? You got an endless list of names, and then when I ask you who you f- with from Virginia, you gonna name some shit, and people are not really all the way hip, right? And then you from B more, right? Yeah. So, of but it's, course I feel like you it's know the same, certain it's, things. It's the same way in Baltimore, though. Facts. I, I wouldn't see you getting into all uh, the intricacies, inc- yeah, 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 intricacies yeah. or whatever the f- yeah, word that is. part. And, and what say it? Intricacies, thank you, Kyron. We get into into the all the in the mechanism and intricacies Facts. of this, but I just feel like that's just the culture at the time, right? Facts, Facts, Facts. As of right now, mm-hmm. y'all might not have any worldwide f- phenomenon names coming out of Virginia. Mm-hmm. I think that's a separate conversation of what we're saying as far as producing artists, right? Mm-hmm. So we talking about producing artists and people not knowing your name. That's your fault. Because think about it, we see people. It ain't like it haven't been done. We see producers who are great at marketing themselves. ATL Jacob, um, Zaytoven, uh, and the Zaytoven was a while ago, but um, less recently, uh, he wasn't the best at marketing himself, but he he got with an artist that was booming. Um, the dude that with ESTG, uh, Forever Rolling. Forever Rolling yeah. um, but he's probably a bad example for what I'm trying to say. But we have producers. Who who put their face out in the limelight? That's what I'm trying to say. Right. Yeah, it's, most of them know, so I get it. But I feel like if you were more in the open or in the limelight, people wouldn't know who you are, maybe. But I might be looking at it wrong. Because you probably yeah. try to be. Yeah, exactly, bro. I feel like it ain't that simple. Like, I've, I always thought that I got the remedy for it, but it ain't up to me to really decide. 
I really feel like the whole remedy for Virginia scene is for us to have some type of sport team. And when I say it, it's kind of like, oh, like, what do you really mean by that? I look at it like this, bro. If we got an NBA team and you got a night where LeBron James is coming to town with the L.A. Lakers, then the big money from D.C., he's going to take that three-hour drive to come down there. The big money from Raleigh, North Carolina, Greensboro, they're going to drive up. They're going to start seeing like, oh, damn, bro, I ain't never had no reason to come to Virginia before. But now I'm out here because I came out here to watch the I came out here to watch the Lakers play, or I came out here to watch Damian Lillard or whoever the fuck. I don't even watch basketball like that, but whoever the fuck. So you come out here to watch these different teams, and when you come out there to watch different teams, you're like, hold on, this little area is lit. Let me got let me invest some of my millions into this, into a club out here, because this shit is lit. And now you got like a bigger, a bigger um, what's the word? A platform for the area. So that's why I feel like the only thing is missing from the actual Virginia scene is the platform. You see what I'm saying? No, nah, for sure. But, bro, Pharrell came there and dropped something in the water. I mean, and it was that- beautiful. And it turned it up. But you can't put everything. And that's the problem. I hate when people do that. You can't put everything on one man. He's one man, cool. bro. So I wasn't even expecting this. I could have did some more. Why we had to start like nah, that, this is bro? Great, you though. This is you great. start straight to that. No, nah, because like, we talk, talking about Virginia, so yeah, we got facts, you. Facts, and the facts. history is there. Like People yeah. need to know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only reason you can't go there with me, because mm-hmm. I'm from Baltimore. Facts. You can't go there with me. Like if I, was, if I was from New York or Atlanta right, 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 or right. Chicago, all right, cool. But I'm from Baltimore, so you can't go there with me. We got the right. football team. We got Lamar Jackson. We got uh, we got uh, uh, Odell Beckham, you know what I'm saying? We got the sports team. Mm. Still and, you got the, and you got the avenue. Yeah. <laughs> and still ain't stopping past Baltimore. They're going straight to D.C. Because that's just the history in the in, in the culture. That's true. What I would say is, for nigga, how long you been doing this? My whole life, bro. For niggas like us, right? Mm-hmm. We just got to keep going. Because people see you, right? Right, right, But right. you don't have... Who, 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 who did you tag? Um, sh- I got... I got a bunch of tags. Well, yeah, 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 you 24, tag. 24 hours. I got one with my niece. I got one with Long Way doing it. The one that's the one that you use all the time. The I one think it's one with your niece. Yeah, the one with my niece. You yeah. one with your niece. Right, right, right. We love your niece. Respectful, right? Right, right, right. But you see the the, the producers that's coming out, mm-hmm. they attach them to an artist, and now we can't get their faces out of our brains. Right, right, right. right? So like yeah, it hit a little different. I don't think it's Virginia per se. Mm-hmm. It's just you gotta keep working. Yeah. Right. Think about it like me. Like, I came to Atlanta. Right, hold on. I got to cut you. Go ahead. I got to cut you. Go ahead. Just what you're saying right now, it's a little different. The first thing that popped in my head is like a Metro Boomin' and salute to him. But mm-hmm. Metro Boomin' from St. Louis. And he came to Atlanta and got his motion going in Atlanta. But just like you asked about tags, when Metro Boomin' started popping off with his tag, his tag was done by Future. Mm. So when I hear Future voice on a record, I'm going to automatically tune in. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But I, that's kind of what I'm saying. Right. Future don't live in Virginia. No, I'm saying you got to keep working to get that big tag. That's one of my arguments. Out of another state. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, you got to... It's the whole mm-hmm. point. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I come to Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. I get lit. I say... uh, Not let's say... When I get super lit, mm-hmm. I could go back to Baltimore mm-hmm. and everybody be like, I got to go with Jay Hill. Facts. No matter what, let's say a Metro Boomer would have went back to uh, St. Louis mm-hmm. or wherever you're from, people were like, I need Metro Boomer, so they're going to go where he at. Okay. That's how I'm looking at it. So let me ask you this. So do you think, and using Metro, and all respect to Metro, right? Mm-hmm. Using him as an example, do you think if he spent a, a year in Atlanta and got his stripes up like he did and mm-hmm. started producing for everybody in Atlanta, do you think that if he left the Atlanta music scene and went back to St. Louis and started working with nothing but St. Louis artists, do you think that St. Louis would be the music scene right now? I mean, that, I, answer that honestly now. That's a, No, I don't think so. And that's a part and of that's, the reason. And that's, my, that's, that's really the point. You feel for what I'm saying? For sure. A part of the reason is it works because you're in the vicinity, right? Of where, of the, the, where music is exact, moving. Same for me. Right, I'm right, here, right. Mm-hmm. so I'm able to get even the BC level artists that I wouldn't be able to get in Baltimore, right? Right. That's cool. Right, right, right. I agree with that. I'm saying once you get to a certain level of celebrity, mm-hmm. right? ATL Jacob, mm-hmm. Met- Metro Boomin. I'm a, right now, maybe not a year into it, but he could move wherever he want. Not and facts. people will come. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's facts, what I'm facts, thinking, right? Facts. That's that's what I'm saying. That's not right. a year, and I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to go back to Virginia, like just hometown in, in general, mm-hmm. we all don't. Our history is 
a long time ago. Yeah, and I think we kind of, um, I think we kind of slick saying the same thing because that was l- literally my mindset when I moved to um, to Atlanta. My mindset was like, it was a point where in Virginia, I feel like I did everything I could do in Virginia. Like I was, uh, I had a studio downtown Norfolk where any artist that was an artist in Virginia came to my studio, and that stretched from Norfolk to Richmond to D.C. to Baltimore. Everybody came down. Like everybody that has any type of name have been through my studio doors. You get what I'm saying? So once I realized, I'm like, yo, I really reached the peak of this. Like anybody I see in this vicinity, I'm like, damn, I want to work with them. I either went up there and f- with them or they came down there f- with me. So I'm like, all right, I got to make this a little bigger. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I came down to Atlanta and I've been working my set in Atlanta. So the ultimate goal of everything that I was doing or what I'm currently doing is creating a real hub in Atlanta so that when I go back to Virginia and I collect, yo, hey, bro, hop on this, do this. I could connect you with where the game is moving right now mm-hmm. and make it bigger than life. And I feel like people from our hometowns, like just speaking of both synonymously, I feel like people don't understand the, the move, right? Right, but right. For the n- that's in that's in the trenches still, mm-hmm. you can't put on your city in your city. Right, right, right. Like, think about it. Who am I putting my city on with? You? You already know about it. Exactly. The only way you can put on for your city. It's outside of your city, outside of your home. Right. Because those are the people who are not familiar. Right. When I go other places, then I could be like, nah, I'm from Baltimore. Oh, you from Baltimore? I ain't never know nothing was in there but a crab cake and some uh, you know, some chicken Blue wings. Crabs, but nah, crabs. it's me. Same. Yeah, yeah. Yo, last time I heard of Virginia was for real and I don't know, Michael Vick. Nah, yeah, facts. it's me. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But a lot of people, they think you, they want to put you in a box and have you stay there. And and but bro, it's nothing I can do. Like you said, I outgrew everything I was that was here for me. 